All right. So let's take an example system where you have 32-bit memory addresses. So if you have 32-bit memory addresses, total amount of space you can address is four gigs. Okay. That's what. That's the total amount of memory, uh, total bytes in total that you can address uh, in your system. So any process can at most be four gigs. Okay. And if you said you have a four kilobyte page, then let's take your address, which is 32 bits. Uh, because of 32 bit address space um, and you said 4 kilobytes so this whole address represents the address of a byte right so if you zero out the bottom 12 bits so if you remove that offset the bottom 12 bits represent a 4 kilobyte page chunk right how do I get to 4 kilobytes uh, 2 to the 12 right so the bottom 12 uh, essentially represents um, that number okay 2 to the 12 equals 4 kilobytes and the rest of the address in this case represent the virtual page number so the bottom 12 represent the page the rest of the, the 20 bits represent the page number the unique page right so the bottom 12 bits are always going to be common amongst all your pages right every page is going to have this uh, eighth byte in it and that those 12 bits are going to be common. The 20 bits is where each page number, the page number start to differ, so you can uniquely identify which page you're talking about in physical memory. So, for example, the first um, four kilobyte chunk would have a number zero, the next four kilobyte would have a chunk of one, uh, two, and so on and so forth. These would be your virtual page numbers. Um, so the offset refers to which byte in the page, the page number refers to the identifies the page in memory and page table is simply a map it's fundamentally a data structure that stores a key value pair the key in this case being the virtual page number and the value in this case being the physical page number so this is the key and this is the value so you can have you can now imagine all kinds of data structures right the simplest one being hash table but we'll see soon that there are certain properties of this translation that make it hard to implement in hash tables or you need a specific type of hash tables um, and it's not exactly you know the hash tables are just um, the best way to implement them uh, physical uh, space wise uh, each process has one of these remember that because that's extremely important so even if you have a process that uses only 100 bytes of data in its process you still need a page table in order for it to run and so therein lies the problem where um, if you have a lot of processes and each of them has a page table, then you need physical memory just for the page table itself. And that is a hard problem now. Think about a million processes and you needed eight kilobytes of you know, page for each uh, process. Right? That's eight gigs just uh, for the process itself. Right? Doesn't make sense. Yeah. So let's look, look at page to memory systems. So what we've done in this case, on your left is your virtual address space, on your right is your physical address space, all right? And what we've done is chunked up the virtual address space into, in this case, I'm showing eight chunks, right? And then we have your page table, which is your map. And what a page table map is storing, in this case, we've, we've represented using a linear array. And so what we're doing is for every uh, virtual page so every virtual page what we're doing is we're storing an entry which has a number that number represents the physical page number of the system so each entry essentially in this case is representing a PPN so each one is representing a PPN and that's the one that we're using to index into the physical memory itself, right? So each entry is a PPN. So what we're doing is taking a four kilobyte chunk from your virtual address space and then mapping into a four kilobyte chunk in your uh, physical address space. And so in this case, if you look at it, um, what we have here is Okay, so what we have here is 
phys virtual page zero mapping to virtual page z physical page zero in your physical address space. You have virtual page two on the other hand mapping to physical page one, right? So in this box, I've actually written which virtual page the physical page maps to. So in this case, physical page one maps virtual page two, and then physical page four maps virtual page one, so on and so forth. It doesn't have to be uh, corresponding. It doesn't have to be the case now that physical page zero maps to virtual page zero, physical page one maps to virtual page one, not uh, like segments, right? So page tables make it possible to store the pages of the program, which are in virtual space contiguous, in non-contiguous locations in your physical frame. So in, if you look at a virtual page, all of these pages are continuous, right? And you have your page table, you mapped it, and now each of those pages do not necessarily need to reside in contiguous chunks in your physical memory. Uh, that's what they fundamentally help you achieve. So you don't have to find a hole. So for example, in this case, if you had segments, you would have had to find a hole between um, for eight page, eight uh, into four, 32, kilo, uh, 32 kilobyte chunk directly in somewhere in your physical memory system. Now you don't have to. Essentially, um, you, you can map each of those four kilobytes into separate space. And so it helps you manage the memory in a lot easier fashion. So, what happens with for your address translation via page tables? Um, so you take a virtual page number, um, you check if the page is valid. So one of the possibilities is if you have sparse uh, address space. In general, you have your virtual page numbers are bigger than your physical page numbers. Right? An example of this would be um, in in terms of 32-bit programs, you had a time when you didn't have four gigs of memory in your system, physical memory. Right? If you think about a 64-bit memory systems then you definitely do not have that much physical memory. You, you, know, you max out at eight or 10 or 16 or 64 gigabytes these days right, on most systems. So if you look at it, your VPN or your virtual page number has more bits than your physical page number. Right? Physical, page is much, physical memory is much smaller. So the total number of virtual pages is greater than or equal to the physical pages. Now, which means that there are a lot of pages possibly in your, in your virtual page itself just sparse, which is par may not have any translation. That is, it's, it's just invalid. Right? So this is why the design of the data structure becomes hard because you have a combination of invalid pages and valid pages, right? You have both in your system. And so you have to map both. So in this case, first thing you do is check if it's a valid. And then if it is, then you look up the physical page number and you send that out. The offset, remember, is common between both the VPN and the, the PPN. So between both the virtual page number and the P physical page number, the page offset itself is the same. An eighth byte in a virtual page is the eighth byte in the physical page itself. So you take your offset, just couple it with, with uh, just concatenate it with the physical page number that you get from the page table and issue it to the memory system. So you have an address from your program. You take the bottom 12 bits or whatever your page size is. That's your offset. You set it out and then you take your virtual page number, translate it to physical page number, send that out, concatenate the two, right? And that's what you end up with. So in general, current physical, uh, physical addresses are about 48 bits and your virtual addresses are about 64 bits. So that's a lot of uh, space you can expand to. So if you have 48 bits of uh, physical address, think about how much uh, memory you can hold, right? So 32 bits gives you four gigabytes. Um, 48 gives essentially two to 16 of, uh, of that. Um, so that's at least four terabytes and beyond. It's about 64 uh, terabytes, right? And so current systems at max are at about one terabyte or two. So enough capacity to expand. So in general, in the past, you've had virtual addresses which were 32 bits, physical addresses which were 29 bits, your page size is about four kilobytes, and your page offset, again, refers to the byte address within the page. 